The secret is to be, or to assume. It took me over half a year of reading and watching videos on countless coaches to understand what this really meant. To be something is different than trying to attract it. I've probably read over thousands of articles and hundreds of books to really get what it means to be in the state of the wish fulfilled. The best way I can explain this is to pretend you are the person who is experiencing whatever it is you want, and then remove the pretending, and then continuing to be in that state until your desire comes to pass. It can't pass because you were already living in it anyway, but this is just formatted for everyone to make sense. From this state, there is no effort. There is no pretending. There is no assuming. There is no trying. There is simply being. That's why we're called human beings. If the 3D isn't real, and the 4D is the only true reality, you gain this sense of confidence that you don't need anything anymore because you know you can get anything you want. Which explains one of the Bible's verses. Seek ye first the kingdom of God which is imagination or assumption, and all of these things shall be added unto you. And from this place of not needing anything, you can manifest anything. The seven deadly sins as explained in the Bible are all representations of trying to force the 3D or assuming you do not have the power to get your desire using the 4D. For example, lust is the belief or lack that you cannot attract someone. Greed is the belief or lacks that you cannot have financial or material abundance. Envy is the belief or lack of being able to get what you want in comparison to someone else. But since the law is always working, not believing is the same as believing. In other words, belief is still working whether you realize it or not which is likely why your manifestation hasn't come yet. You are still checking the 3D to see if it's there or not. And then doubt, which is the belief of not having, is blocking your desire from manifesting. Neville explained that this is exactly what sins are, believing in the wrong thing. If all of this still hasn't made sense, I will offer some examples. Example 1. If you want to be a millionaire, you might be sitting on a couch with your 18 inches TV in a shitty condo. You might be thinking I'm not rich. That's fine. All you have to do is pretend you're a millionaire, remove the pretending, and go about your life calling yourself big money. Telling people you have a Ferrari, surrounding yourself with ambitious people with the same mindset, and continue living your life as if you were truly a millionaire. But how can I continue living in that state when clearly my apartment sucks and I have no money in my bank? You continue being delusional. You ignore the 3D. Want to buy a car you can't afford. Start figuring out a way to get it. Want to pay off some debt. Start figuring out a way to pay it off. Eventually, somehow, your brain will figure out a way to start making some major income. And from there your money will multiply. It might take a few years, but remember that linear time is just an illusion. Technically, since time doesn't exist, all manifestations are instant. It doesn't matter if it's one year or ten years. It's still instant. Example 2. If you want your dream job but you haven't gotten it yet, assume you are already the person who has it. Start packing your things. Quit your job. Start selling your shit. Really live your life as if you already got your dream job. Again, there is no pretending. There is no trying. You told your family and friends you got the job. You're buying things you'll need for your new apartment. You're completely delusional into believing that you already got the job. This is what it means to walk in faith. Example 3. If there is a particular someone you want in your life, pretend they are already yours. Buy an engagement ring. Have conversations with them while you're in your car like it's a normal day. Go to sleep with the feeling of them already being there, and set your phone's wallpaper of your favorite photo of you two together. You're not stressed. You're not checking your phone to see if they texted you. You go to the grocery store and pretend they're walking with you. You go to the bathroom knowing they are sitting in your living room reading a book. You are constantly sitting or walking anywhere with the feeling of you two already having a baby. Again, the best way I can describe the feeling of being is that you are pretending to be the person who already has what you want, and then remove the pretending. Fake it till you make it, but remove the faking part. 